Hello and welcome back to my little let's play of Gemini Rue. Well, Delta Six, here we are at last. Your final exam. If you pass, you will be free to leave this facility and go on to your new life. You do want that, don't you? Now then, let's get started. Go ahead, pick up the gun. Huh. Speaking of... Uh, there was something I forgot to mention about Sayuri before. Of course... The uh, Boryokudan representative that we spoke to back on the planet... He kind of hinted at uh, a brainwashing thing. So... How can we know... That Sayuri isn't trying to get back to Center 7 without it being some kind of design or a plot to maybe I don't know bring anti down sympathizers or something ah, well plots they're not my strong suit But here we are at the final exam. Why aren't you shooting? Well, I'm not shooting because all I picked up was a weight. Well then, if you don't want to test today and complete your final exam, then you won't get your food ticket. Simple as that. Yeah. You I'll know. be waiting here until you're ready, Delta Six. Or until you starve to death. Yeah, you're grim as all get out. We've established that. Uh, but we were warned against completing the final exam. Ah, <sighs> uh, uh, this is not gonna be fun. Giselle said she wanted to talk to you. About what? I don't know. She didn't say. She's waiting in the mess hall, I think. Okay, well, let's go to the mess hall. Uh, that's over there. <laughs> First, you have to hand the elevator. have a meal ticket which is unfortunate okay let's sit down over here Charlie Epsilon 5 you wanted to see me sit down Epsilon 5 will be coming with us after all everything's ready I got the map completed except Balder won't be coming with us yeah sorry about Why? that he had some kind of accident on maintenance duty last night. A steam valve wrecked his face or something. They said some doctors came in while nobody knew and took him to one of the other floors. Anyway, I guess we'll have to leave without him if he doesn't show up. How are we doing this? Judging by the map, we should exit from maintenance level 1A, disable the security, that's you, Epsilon, then try to reach the cargo bay. Turns out your computer skills are useful for something. That appears to be the only way off this place, since we seem to be in outer space. It looks like they have computer labs here and here. If they have our old memories, that's where they'll be, and that's where we'll go. Once one of us gets maintenance duty, we're all going to regroup on the maintenance floor. What'll happen if we get caught? Same thing that happens to everyone. We won't remember this conversation. Until that maintenance call comes, just stay tight. 
Say, Charlie, you want to go check your stash one more time, just in case you left anything from your past life? I mean, it's not like you have anything better to do. Huh. Well, why don't we go and do precisely that? Huh, you kind of have to wonder how often they've had that conversation. To the living level. Fingerprints on the scanner, I guess. Oh, hey! I wonder how she knew that thing was there. Okay. Not creepy in the slightest. Nothing there. Okay. Hey, oh, is it... Well, he's looking a lot better than the last time we saw him. Shit, son. What did they do to you? What are you talking about? Your memory wiped? What do you want? I... I'm lost. Do you remember anything? How do I get to Green Chamber 2? Go, go to the testing floor. Thank you. Epsilon 5, report for maintenance duty. Epsilon 5, report for maintenance duty. Oh, wow. And Epsilon 5 is up for maintenance duty. Things are happening pretty fast. So, with that done, we now have to go to the maintenance level and regroup there and all that jazz. We just spoke about that some 10 minutes ago or whatever. Uh, maintenance. Just check the time of the video there. Are you sure that camera behind me is off? I think so. We all here? Did you find Balder? Yes. You did? Yes. Was he all right? He doesn't remember anything. Good. Then we don't have to drag him along on the escape. All right, then. Well, if we don't make it, at least we went out trying. If we do make it, I won't miss this place. Do we have everything? Gun, screwdriver, yeah, it's all here. Charlie, take the gun. You're better with it. Give me the card, Epsilon, and I'll open the door. And haven't you decided on a name yet? No. Then I'll give you one myself. How do you like Sayuri? Oh, shit, son. Sayuri? What's the matter? Not good enough for you, Sayuri? Okay, Epsilon 5, or Sayuri, whatever. I'm ready for you. Is that coincidence? 
Or is the game pulling a Pulp Fiction back and forth in time perspective thing on us? I didn't actually remember that. Holy shit. So Yuri, take that camera down. I think it's down. Hmm. Wonder what happened in here. The whole place is in shambles. Anyway, that's going to be our exit point. I have an access code that should disable the security without being detected. Charlie, enter this code on that access door. Six, three, eight, two, one. Wow, this is not gonna end well, is it? I mean, Sayuri, assuming that's her, was alone back on the planet. So what happened to Giselle and Charlie? Oh man. Things are going to happen pretty fast from this point on I guess. A lot of developments. <laughs> oh great oh oh man no this is not gonna be a good time to be me uh however my recording computer thing is laptop machine is currently on battery power and i think it's best if i Snap, connected like so. Okay, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, what does the walkthrough say, by the way, while we're not moving anywhere? Okay, okay, okay. Um, generally, we follow Giselle. Um, also, this. Oh, we're trying, all right. What's going on? We have to go. It's our only chance. The director might be bluffing. Have you ever seen any guards here? No? Well, neither have I. What are you saying? I'm saying that maybe he's just a crazy old man living up there in his office pretending to give orders down here. Either way, it doesn't matter because I'm not sticking around here. I have the map. I'll take point. Let's go. We have an autosave. That's good. Only the autosave. Oh ho ho ho! Charlie, I think I see a switch over there. Would you kindly take the lead to disable it for us? Be careful. <sighs> oh! Bloody something or other.
That's unfortunate. <laughs> Be careful. <sighs> Be careful. Yeah. Thank. Oh shit. Thank you, game. Thank you so very much. Be careful. Okay, start here on the low side. And come on, come on. Yes! Whew! Flick the thing. Or maybe not. We made it through. Move up the next one. Thanks, Charlie. You did good out there. Yeah, I only got smooshed like three times, something. Oh, reactor hangar. Fantastic. That's going to be great. Oh, and exit. Yeah. You're not getting out that way, Delta 6. Run. Of course. Oh, oh, oops. Oh man, I'm not doing good here. <laughs> I'm totally not doing good. But I think this is the most difficult gunfight. So. this hey I totally pulled that button uh, Okay, um, I hope I won't have to do this too many times. You're not getting and let's see, do this. No, ha. Ah, okay. S, not the uh, other thing. Okay. Damn it. Let's Jesus. Go. That was not fantastic. Okay, where do we go from here? Oh, uh. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Ah, okay. Controls for the reactor. That's good. Let's not mess with them. Uh, locked door with a keypad. We keep going west, I guess. We need to get to the hangar. Behind bed. us! Ah. Oh. Run! Use the stun settings, you morons. We want them alive. Well. I guess that's what happened to Giselle. Uh, and you on that Can thing? You that door? I'll try. The 
They're right behind us. We have to hurry. Yeah, thanks. Okay. 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 Just cool down, concentrate, and hand epsilon five on the keypad. Two guards coming. And shoot me some guards. Not fantastic. That was a little more fantastic. Got it. Run. Well, fuck. That wasn't great. Tell me that that performance. Otherwise, you could have killed two of my patients now. Of course it was. You didn't have to kill her. She didn't have to die. She was going to escape. I'm starting to think I shouldn't have let you out, Beta 2. Your old memory is giving you revenge fantasies. Bring him back to the rehab chamber. Why? We're going to erase his memory again. Speaking of which, why don't you go get Epsilon 5 already? The hangar bay is locked down. Of course. Delta 6. Delta 6. Time to let you free, I suppose. You've got to go out and see the world. I can't hold your hand forever. Well, that was weird. Ooh, sunrise in space. Oh, and a spaceship. Is one ugly spaceship. The mark on your hand. What? What about it? It says Epsilon 5, doesn't it? Yes. I heard they remove it during the surgery. What's that? It's our plan. So, I've pinpointed the coordinates of the asteroid containing Center 7 deep inside the nebula. It's going to be a pain to navigate, but we should be able to find it. Communications and sensors get knocked out from the electromagnetism, so we should be able to reach the asteroid undetected. Once we get within range, we can use the nebula as a screen and maneuver the ship under the backside of the asteroid where they don't have any sensors. Now, according to this blueprint, there's an exhaust shaft right here, which looks like our best point of entry. This would lead straight into the back maintenance sections of the station where they don't have any guards. Once you're inside, you can access terminal computers here. Find out where your brother is, Asriel. What if they've already erased his memory? It says they store the memories of their patients on backup data banks. You can access those from the terminal rooms. So you can find out who and where all the other patients have gone? but I'm not sure if I would even want my old memory back if I were you. And why is that? Would you like to wake up one day and discover you were another person entirely? No. Sayori, does this blueprint look familiar to you? If it leads into the maintenance shaft, I know where to go. All right then, Matthias and I will stay on the ship after we dock. Then you, Asriel, and Sayori can enter from the back. 
Sounds good to me. I'll stay on the ship. Okay, I'll start heading into the nebula now. Whenever you're ready, I'll start the descent. <sighs> well, if you are Epsilon 5, then you escaped before you finished your final exam, so you would not be brainwashed then. Well, that's uh, that's a good thing actually. Um, I think uh, we can uh, consider Sayuri to be in the clear, despite what I said before. That, that's that's good. That's good. Let's see, can we say things to, to go people? Back to Center Seven. It's been a year. I can handle it. So why are you still here? I thought you had to go to Colony 4 with your family. I will. I am. Just thought you could use a hand here. It's the least I could do after you guys helped me out. Okay. I'm tempted to save all the rest for a future episode. Considering that we, well, had a lot of drama already in this episode, I don't think... I want to cram too much into this one episode. So I will cut the episode short here. And um, when next we meet, we lock in our approach to Center 7. And it's not going to be fun. I do remember that much. And not just <laughs> because of the somewhat clunky gameplay interface but it's not gonna be a pretty story when we do get there so look forward to it all you like um, I'm not <laughs> uh, but uh, well yeah it's gonna bring an end to the game so there's that if you care about that sort of thing so until the next episode everyone